everyone, welcome back to the channel. Right now I'm standing in front of Lynx Sedona 36 inch freestanding grill. Now Sedona is the lower tier of Lynx. It's still gonna give you great performance and quality. It's just made for the customer who isn't quite ready to spend Lynx dollars. They've made the cooking surface a little bit smaller. They've lowered the BTUs, but still delivers a great product that's gonna be different from your typical Weber grill or Napoleon grill that you see on everyone's deck. It's gonna be still stainless steel construction all the way around the outside, a nice finished cabinet below. Let's open up the lid, look inside so you can learn more. One thing you'll notice immediately that they incorporated the spring assist top that they do in their regular Lynx lineup, making it easy for anyone to turn this grill, open this grill, close the grill, very easy and user, user friendly. This model here is gonna be one of their more basic models. Um, you notice there's not gonna be the rotisserie in the back. Um, they took this out because they found that not all their customers want that rotisserie or use that rotisserie option, so why spend the money for it? It does feature one halogen light up on the inside that would be activated by the switch and the front bezel here. That switch also will control the lights, the LED lights to illuminate the, the knobs. You have a shelf on the inside, so if you wanted to put toast your buns, keep things warm, you still have that flexibility. It gives you three separate temperature zones in here. This one is laid out with three 22,000 BTU burners. Um, compared to the 25,000 which you see in the Lynx. So a couple thousand less BTUs. Difference between the Lynx and the Sedona, but still adequate power, more than adequate power. Um, grates are all gonna be stainless steel, heavy duty. This grill is gonna have two grates that come in and out. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the Lynx Sedona versus a regular Lynx grill briquettes. The Lynx Sedona is going to be a little bit shallower compared to the Lynx but I will go over the measurements of the inside. The 36 inch grill is still gonna give you a great amount of grilling space for your family backyard parties. It is available with the optional infrared searing zone. Just note again that if you do with the optional searing zone, it is not great for burgers and dogs. So if you're a family that happens to do a lot of burgers and dogs, you're going to lose about one third of your cooking area during that time. Just food for thought, we wanna make sure we get you the right product for you. Also, this grill is freestanding, it is on wheels, so you don't necessarily have to buy this and build it into masonry. You can order this as just the grill head or on the cart. The 36 inch Lynx Sedona's cooking surface is going to be 33 and a half inches wide by 18 and an eighth inches deep. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing the grill. One other thing to note about the Lynx Sedona freestanding grill is that the sides are collapsible. So when you're not cooking or if your deck's a little bit tighter, you can drop the sides down for more space or to have extra serving area. This grill is available either freestanding as you see it here on wheels, so you can roll it around your patio or deck, or you can buy just the grill head and install it into the masonry. The full Lynx line is available either way. So don't feel like you have to buy a Sedona or you're stuck with buying a Lynx. You could buy either way for your home. It's just a matter of what's best for you. For more information, Call us today, comment on our channel, or stop on in. Thanks a lot.